this is an introductory uh, whiteboard about what Curator is. And let me start by saying first what Curator is not. It's not a firewall manager. There are many products in the market that can, can do that. This is all about bringing intelligence to the SIEM. Let me show you what I mean. For a long time, Curator has been able to bring from firewalls, from routers, from switches, and from IPSs and other devices, he has been able to bring logs. And it normalizes the logs, so you don't need to know the brand name of a particular, uh, whether it's Checkpoint, Juniper, or they are mixed up. The firewall denied, it's a firewall denied it regardless of the uh, terminology of the different vendors. So, uh, and Curator has been, you know, bringing logs and you know, the form of syslog or any other method from uh, routers, from switches, and from IPSs, right? Nothing new there. What Risk Manager brings to the picture is now the capability of bringing configuration information. So it can bring the configuration, it can actually read the configuration of the firewalls, also of the routers, of the switches, and IPSs, and more devices in the future. And what, what can it do is it can actually, reading that configuration information, it's also capable of getting routing table info. So it can get information about the neighbors. And how does it, does it do that? Well, just for, for detail, it can actually has a way of discovering those devices on the network similar to what we do with Vulnerability Manager. Uh, it can connect to things like the Juniper uh, console for, for uh, firewalls, the NSM, or Checkpoint version of it, uh, SMS. It can be from a CBS file that you import that. And it's important to know that all these credentials, I mean, you need credentials to do this job, but all these credentials can be given to the ID that uh, uh, QRM uh, is going to be using in read-only mode because we are not going to be making changes on those devices. All we need to do is get that intelligence, that information from those devices, and what can we do with it? Well, for once, we can actually get the network topology. And sure, and, you know, very nice is to, to get it in a VCO format. You can actually... Uh, you know, get the poly, but but the beauty of this is that this is this can even be, and actually pretty soon you'll you'll see the feature in the product is is it can actually be automatic. Meaning, when we know that there has been a change made on a firewall, we can get a rule that actually fires on that and reads the configuration again, so your network topology is always up to date. We can also see the device configuration and see you know the particular firewall routers, whatever rules are in there. We can compare those from the history perspective and see, well, something happened. Let me see if, if there's been a change on the firewall rules that actually motivate that change. Or you can actually compare, well, this firewall is doing this job. Let me compare with another firewall uh, to see what the difference between the two. Things of that, you know. You can also, of course, locate shadow rules, those ineffective rules that will never be executed because they've been shadowed by another preceding rule on the firewall. But again, these are nice to have, but this is not, these are not the main thing. I'm reserving the best thing for the, for, the, for the rest. What is very nice is that you can actually bring attack path, and I have showed this in other videos, on the offenses. It's very nice when you are looking, investigating an offense in Curator, 
uh, to see okay how how does this attack went what was the 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 sequence of uh, you know firewall routers rule uh, ips's etc that that led to this attack you can also locate path do searches the, the same way that you do searches in curator we will be doing this in the in the subsequent videos uh, you can do uh, path between uh, different IPs and you for example can see well there's a path that exists there but it's, a, this, it's been blocked why is it been blocked well because a particular uh, a firewall rule you can also do things like uh, least and most used uh, rules in the firewall and this is good for firewall performance because of course if you have rules that are not executed at all or are not almost never executed because every rule will be uh, analyzed when every event that comes into a firewall you may want to reduce those and improve the performance of your of your firewall all this is good but this is not why we did this the main thing what we did this is because of the policies that now you can do in curator because you have all this wealth of information let me give you some examples and again we'll see this live in the, in the subsequent videos for example, I want to see what vulnerabilities are accessible from the internet. So, I have a particular vulnerability and I, I want to know whether it can be reached. I mean, I want to see from the topology standpoint if I have a, an IPS that blocks that, a firewall that blocks that. I mean, because if I have vulnerabilities that are exploitable for the inter internet, those are the ones that probably will get more of my attention. And actually, uh, QVN leverage on, on that feature of uh, QRM to, to do precisely that. Uh, you can do things, for example, sticking on vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities that can be blocked by an IPS virtual patch. So IPS is from, from IBM and from all the vendors, they all have uh, virtual patches. That information is on the metadata of the vulnerability, but nobody uses that. Well, we can, because now we know exactly in the topology where the... the the uh, particular IPS is, and we know whether it has a virtual patch uh, by activating it, we can forget about that vulnerability. We can do things like finding out which devices are insecure, or are using insecure protocols. Uh, for example, with my uh, PCI servers. It's not that they had been, you know, the, the, they, they, and actually you, you'll see that we can actually evaluate all these policies in two things. One, let me write it down, we can do this based on actual traffic that we see the evidence that this that the person has actually been, 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 been using that particular uh, path, uh, that particular protocol, etc. Or, it's very nice, potential communication so we see that you know even though i don't see in my flows on curator the fact that that has actually happened it's possible that that could also happen so we can also do simulation for example we have a zero day vulnerability if that will happens to be exploited in our network how will that propagate and you can see step by step how that potential vulnerability can or cannot propagate and for everything else like everything else sorry you can also do nice reports about this for compliance or you know any other reason so this is we we, we created risk manager not just to to manage firewalls and, uh, again it, it is to bring the intelligence so not only you get the flows and the events that have made Curator so successful, but also now you get all this configuration information and you'll see in the subsequent videos how this intelligence uh, can help you manage and secure your network.